Interpersonal Relationship Theory of Hildegard Peplau by Jasmine Foster. Overview of Theorist. Personal and Family Life. Hildegard Peplau was born in Pennsylvania on September 1st, 1909 to Gustav and Audie Lee Peplau. She was the second daughter of six siblings, two sisters and three brothers. She passed away in March 17, 1999, in her home in Sherman Oaks, California. Education. In 1931, she graduated from Potts Town Hospital School of Nursing in Pennsylvania, followed by a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Bennington College in Vermont in 1943. In 1947, she went on to obtain a Master's of Arts degree in Psychiatric Nursing from Teachers College of Columbia University. Peplau also received a Doctorate of Education in Curriculum Development from Columbia University in 1953. Professional background, Hildegard has a very established nursing career. Professionally, she has experience in psychiatry, medicine, education, and sociology. She served as the supervisor of an operating room and infirmary. During World War II, she worked in a neuropsychiatric hospital at Columbia University and Rutgers University, she worked as an educator teaching graduate level psychiatric nursing. After retirement in 1974, she continued serving as a visiting professor. Contributions. Hildegard contributed the importance of nurse patient relationships. Other contributions to nursing included influencing professional, educational, and practice standards of nursing through professional self-regulation. She also contributed the development of advanced nursing practice. Her greatest contribution was the theory of interpersonal relationships. Influencing factors. Hildegard's development of her theory was influenced by Freud, Maslow, and Sullivan's interpersonal relationship theories and psychoanalytical model. The theory of interpersonal relationships is a middle range theory that focuses on the nurse patient relationships, which Hildegard considered to be the center of nursing. This theory was developed in 1952 after Hildegard had completed several years of clinical experience and numerous educational accomplishments. Um, Peplau's believe that the nurse patient relationship um, consisted of four phases which included orientation, identification, exploitation, and resolution. However, in 1997, the four phases became three after Peplau combined identification and exploitation and created the working phase. During the orientation phase, this is where the health issue presents itself and professional help is sought out. During the working phase, this accounts for a majority of the time that the nurse spends with the patient. During this phase, the nurse is able to aid and assist with acceptance, rapport, um, development, identification of feelings, and determine who can assist in the treatment process. The patient and nurse also establish an agreement upon what approach to take in their care. The patient ultimately develops the ability to take care of, um, of their situation and take charge. During the resolution phase, this is where the nurse and the patient will gradually terminate their professional relationship. The patient is left feeling more balanced emotionally and physically, and the nurse gains an increased feeling of professionalism. The theory of interpersonal relationships, Peplau identified six nursing roles that may arise through the course of um, the nurse-patient relationships. These roles include the stranger role, the role of a resource, the teaching role, the leadership role, the surrogate role, and the counseling role. Major concepts of person um, defined as an organism that consists of a person and a nurse. The patient 
is being in need of professional services and the nurse is being the source of professional nursing assistance. Major concepts of environment focuses forces that exist outside of the person and in a cultural aspect. Environment includes psychological, sociological, and social elements. Either maintains the illness or promotes health. Major concepts of health. Health symbolizes the four emotion of personality and other human activities. This four emotion is toward creative, constructive, productive, personal, and community living. Anxiety and illness are directly related. When anxiety is experienced, non-healthy symptoms and illness will present. The concept of nursing is defined as a significant therapeutic interpersonal process occurs between the patient and the nurse and it aims to promote health. Concepts specific to the interpersonal relationship theory. Two concepts unique or specific to the nursing theory are the concepts of person and nursing. These two concepts focus on the nurse-patient relationship as, the, as a partnership while working through the nursing process to, to achieve healthiness. Assumptions emphasizes nurse and patient interactions. Therapeutic interactions result in maturation of the nurse and patient. The maturity and development of the nurse can affect the patient's maturity as they work to resolve interpersonal issues. Nurses' actions are patient-focused and should be driven to promote optimal patient outcomes. It can be assumed that the development of the nurse and the patient are directly related. And the type of nurse that is developed determines what the patient learns throughout the course of the nursing process. Lastly, therapeutic relationships that include communicating and interacting effectively amongst the nurse and the patient must be present in order for both to thrive. Propositions. Masters states that nursing actions and processes are beneficial to human beings. The concepts of person, environment, health, and nursing are interrelated. Generally, if one concept of the nursing theory is altered, then the other concepts are altered as well. As the nurse-patient relationship progresses, the patient is, directly, is directed to growth and health. Limitations of the interpersonal relationship theory include that the concept cannot be applied to patients who are not unable, who are unable to express themselves or their needs. It does not address preventative health, promotion of health, or the maintenance of health, and it does not address the interaction or inclusion of family and social dynamics. Evaluation of the nursing practice. Effectiveness of interpersonal relationships become acknowledged as the concern of nursing practice assist nurses to become better developed. They understand their own abilities. It guides and directs the nurses to better assist their patients. Still being implemented in today's nursing practices and it strengthens the nurse-patient partnership. Also allows the nurses to identify and understand their strengths and weaknesses in order to use them to help in achieving the patient's optimal well-being. Evaluation of nursing education. The theory is the basis of psychiatric education. An educative instrument used in the nursing maturity process. Used to teach nursing students to understand and use holistic communication evaluation and nursing research. 
studies used to help nurses understand their own behaviors and help develop a behavioral scale. Therapeutic behaviors of the nurses guides decision making and it's a platform for creating knowledge and new conclusions. Application. Um, I work a step down unit. The population is generally 18 years or older. Peplau's theory of interpersonal relationships is applied by the following the steps of the nursing process, which are assessment, planning, implementation, and evaluation. This unit consists of critically ill patients, but they're not quite sick enough to, um, for ICU. On this unit, the nurse and patient interact closely and communicate frequently. Being able to communicate effectively with the patient and address health concerns is essential for the patient to have a satisfactory health outcome. Implications contributes to the nursing understanding the patient situation, development of diagnosis and approaches based on the nurse's competencies, capabilities and um, abilities and skills. Encourages providing physical, mental, and emotional care to the patient, which is a form of um, that holistic care and communication. Assist the patient through challenging times. Increases communication with patient, increases compliance, and decreases chance of readmission or relapse. Patient will have a better understanding of their own health.